Morning, Chad. Yeah, sorry about the music. I, f I forgot. Yeah, sorry about oh, the music. Do I hear I echoing? Yeah. Hello? Do I hear echoing? Hello? Echo. Echo. Hello. Welcome to the streams. Welcome to the streams. <laughs> yeah, every time uh, that window ha like yeah, Windows has an update. Let me let me check and see if I can fix this. But every time there's a Windows update, it like throws off my audio settings. I gotta fix this. Let me see. Yeah, I started the stream and went to make myself a coffee, and uh, now I gotta solve this weird problem. Let's see. Yeah, there's a weird echo. That that's interesting. Hold on, let's try let's try this. Wow, everything's thrown off. What's going on? What's that echo? Good morning, everyone. Good to see you here. Yeah, whenever Windows has an update, OBS gets thrown off with like having to reset the uh, mic and the audio settings and the camera gets thrown off. Thanks, Windows, by the way, for being awesome with your unnecessary enforced updates. Appreciate that. Let's see. I'll fix this for you guys in a second. Anyway, welcome. Well, welcome. Let's check our sound settings here. Hmm. Good music, though. Good music, though. Let's see. Oh, that's why. Oh, that's why. Let's see if this works. Let's see if this works. Nope. Okay. Nope. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. It's so weird how I like can hear myself it's twice. So weird how I like can hear myself twice. I don't have another stream open, do I? Hold on. Okay. Test one, two. Test. Okay, I got it, boys. We fixed it. Yeah. All right. Cool. Well. Bum, 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 bum. There we go. All right, welcome everybody. Grave, uh, Ship Graveyard Simulator. We're going to play the prologue today, which is different than the demo. Um, but we want we, we might play the demo, which is available on Steam too. So if you go to play this game, uh, you might actually see uh, a little bit different than what I see. In other words, the prologue is different than a demo. So as we play the uh, prologue today, it'll differ from what is there. If it's short, we'll go play the demo too, because this is a is a game that's not yet released. Anyway, I see more people coming into the streams, and I'm just gonna wait for a second to make sure everything's good on my end. Yep, I got everything solved. We're good. I'm glad I figured that out. Do I think I'll hit the magic million before Christmas? Oh yes. Yep, we'll likely hit a million subscribers. I wanted to try to hit it by October 1st, but YouTube suppression and uh, control behind the scenes and whatnot. Uh, we'll see. We're at the mercy of Susan and what she decides. I can see it ha you know, happening live and whatnot. If you want to see something interesting, by the way, uh, you know, YouTube-wise, let me, let me show you guys something. Uh, our friend Uthris, who you've seen as a moderator in our streams, and you've seen him from time to time play along with us he made that wonderful village in uh in valheim which we took a look at kind of when when valheim came out earlier this year an interesting thing to take a look at on youtube is, is kind of these things i hate to put them on the spot and he do, he doesn't do these things on purpose but this is how this is kind of how youtube rolls um if you want to know the the power of youtube and stuff if you take a look at these uh, videos up top here, right? You take a look at the, the, the Timberborn videos that he's done in the top row. On the far left side, you see how he's played uh, Foxhole recently, right? Uh, and then you see like uh, Timberborn and Timberborn, Timberborn, Songs of Sticks, and then another Timberborn. So three days ago, he, he played this game. And then he played uh, Songs of Sticks and all the other things. You see that he's mostly done his live stream, Foxhole. He did for two hours, 22 minutes. 
uh, and then you see the other videos there. If you notice the second one, building the greatest beaver dam ever. For those of you wondering, YouTube, why do YouTuber? So this is why we do things like this. You see the video where it says cooking fresh potatoes and big plants a day ago, 1,000, or building the greatest beaver dam ever with a photo of the beaver dam. Once you get 15 times as many uh, views or something like that, then you, you start repeating that over and over again. So for those of you wondering, why do YouTubers do what YouTubers do? That's why. It's like when it rains, Walmart rolls out umbrellas near the door. Why would a corporation try to do that? But Uthris just wants to play games, and so do I. It's, it's more fun that way. Sometimes YouTube will just be like, here, I have all the views, and other times it's like, no! Bum, 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 bum. F the YouTube algorithm. That's what it is, man. Like, it's it's not, it, it's mostly us not even trying to appeal to you guys anymore. It's like, daddy algorithm, could I have a, can I have a view? And then it takes like a D20, and you, you gotta roll like something over a 17 to even get like in the recommended. <laughs> That's how it goes. It, every video is simply just a chance to stand at the roulette table and spin that wheel, baby. And it's gotta land on like 14 black or something like that. It's gotta like be a specific number and a specific color at a specific time and a specific date on a specific SEO with a specific title with a specific thumbnail with specific description with specific tags. But anyway, enough of that. Let's talk about a uh, ship graveyard simulator. Okay, so, so as it says down there, this is the prologue again. This will differ from the demo. Wow. I know. So you can download the demo now for free and give this game a try. It's coming out later. So we're going to play the prologue, and if it's short, we'll try to get through everything, and then we'll, we'll play the demo. So welcome aboard. That's what Twitch is for. Well, you go stream on Twitch, so that way YouTube will buy you out and then pull you back over to YouTube. That's how it works, right? Tim the Tapman, you know, Dr. Lupo, et cetera, et cetera. Even, even at some point, if uh, Dr. Disrespect didn't get pulled over, that's how it would go. But anyway, let's not talk that. Let's talk about sh let's, let's talk about this game. That's why we're here. All right, you ready? Okay, here we go. Bum, bum. Bro, a lot of YouTubers buy, buy views. Mm, no, there's systems to... YouTube puts a lot of effort and time into making sure that that's... If people bought views, it would skew actual, like... It, it would throw off the advertisers. It, it would hinder their ability to sell ads. So YouTube is basically... It, they're selling you guys your attention. So if they're, if they're getting inaccurate views... Uh, somebody selling ads would be really furious at YouTube if, if, if they sold ads on a channel that got 100 million bot views and it wasn't an actual person. Only people can buy things, not, not the robots. So there's a lot of systems to verify, cross-check, or whatnot because YouTube needs the control. It's, they don't want you guys to have the control or the creator. They must have the control. They're the ones who, who want all the money. So they have to have the control. All right, let's jump in. Okay, so everything looks good here. Okay. Ooh, no mer- Wait, is there motion blur? I don't see any options for motion blur. Okay, good. Alright, let's play. Oh, I just tested it out here. There we go. Alright, let's start a new game. Ship Graveyard Simulator. Wow. Um... Oh yeah, everybody in chat's a paid bot. Yeah, 101 if you're a paid bot. This already reminds me a little bit of a Hard Space Shipbreaker, which is also kind of a similar game, except it's with spaceships. Oh, thanks again, guys, for uh, wrap for the, the, your support before, too. Thanks for all the uh, messages and whatnot. Uh, Steven saying, let's get this. Yeah. Uh, as I've been trying to remind people all week, if, you, if you're if you a member and you hit a milestone, which means like after your first month of support, you should be able to click that little super chat button, the little square with the dollar sign in it, and you have like a free highlighted message. So if you want to, every time you hit a certain milestone on YouTube of like one month of support or three months of support or six months of support, you can send, how generous of YouTube, you can send a highlighted message once every uh, 90 days. So anyway, I think members should be able to do that like once a stream or something. 
And also, I think members shouldn't uh, have to put up with ads. But anyway, Ship Graveyard Simulator. Ships are your main playground. There's a lot to destroy on them, and they hide many secrets. Explore. Carefully check abandoned ships because you can find many materials on them. Deck, living quarters, engine room, many places to explore. Drive your car to travel faster. Two, scrap. Uh, dismantle whatever you can. There are simple barrels or pipes as well as massive engines to find and scrap. Uh, three, collect. There's a big variety of materials from uh, common steel and copper to very precious silver and gold. Choose wisely because you have limited inventory space. Well, that's not true because you, you have a truck. So that kind of works. Uh, Nicholas, hi there. Good to see you. Thanks for the 39 months. Wow, that's a blue eye right there. That's that's your longtime membership. Yeah, if you ever want to check your membership too, just click the little uh, super chat button, and then you can you can go in there and like send a message and see how long you've been a member. You don't have to send a message, but it'll just pop up. In the prologue, you can find three ships, basic tools, and use them uh, core features in the full game to play with. Okay. Uh, let's see controls, inventory, tools, use pull material. Flashlight for F. Skill tree. Oh, there's a skill tree. Uh, sprint with shift. Crouch with control. Jump with space bar. Primary and secondary actions. Okay. So Q, F. Oh, we have a house. Ooh. Well, oh, that is ultra sensitivity. Let's see. Bring sensitivity down to two. Yeah, that's better. All right, we have a computer. Uh, let's see, ship tube, simply the best shipwrecks. Your order, no active orders. Available ships, $1 a day, small check details. I think we'll come back here later. Uh, Raptor, do, do you have a video about how you grew on YouTube and how you, what blew you up? No, there's no blow up. It's just a daily climb on the algorithm, appeasing it praising it, pinto blessing to it, and hoping it gives you at least a view. Okay, uh, let's see. Apparently we can walk over here. There's our truck. Schedule, you didn't book any ship, but find and destroy metal scrap. All right, we'll follow the tutorial. Hammer, one, dismantle. Happy destroying. Two critical points. If you hit correctly, you can speed up your destruction process. Aim at the glowing sparks to deal more... Uh, what's that word? D damage? Damage! Oh, damage. Yeah, deal more damage. Okay. Three, improve. Get more experience in hammer mastery by spending points in your skill tree. What do our skill trees allow us to do? Utilities and management. Oh, look at that. Oh, we can't do that just yet. Okay. Uh, there's a management tab, but not implemented in the prologue. So we can do lockpick, explosives, and zipline. Tools, hammer, saw, torch, and mop. Oh, here's the different boats. Okay, we've got a like a little barge or a ferry, fishing boat, and on the right, like a it's like a merchant ship or something. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. Hammer tier one. All right. So we're hit, supposed to hit the sparks. Uh, I think hitting anywhere is just fine. It's faster to just hit it than <laughs> looking around. Alright, so we've got some rusted steel and some copper. Alright. Sell items at the market. I like this music. Oh, that's maxed? Oh. Boom, boom, boom. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Oh, we can buy new tools. We've got the saw there. There's the lockpick and some other stuff. This is the market. Literally just a tent with some boxes. Marketplace. One sell. Here you can sell materials that you can carefully collect. The trader's not the most handsome man in the world, but he offers good prices. What Same with me. This? With clicking and tapping join and becoming a member. That's true. Oh, my God. Very true. Big true. A big W if you become a member. That's true. 
Uh, market rules. Market prices will change every day depending on what you're trading with. Oh, there's fluctuation of prices. Cool. Let me hop over here so you guys can see the pricing. So they just want us to sell, I guess, just to learn. Okay. So what's the difference? I, I guess this is quality of steel. So 10 for rusted, 35 for regular. There's probably mint condition. And advanced materials. I don't know what these things are, but it's like oil. Must be like metal, copper, oil, or fuel, and then uh, glass, and then maybe concrete? Hmm. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, build a hack saw at the tool shop. Buy new tools. Here you can buy new stuff, which definitely can help you in ship destruction. You can convince tradesmen to order new stuff for you or buy his tool shop. Oh, in his tool shop. Of course, not for free. Oh, I'll buy a saw then. Uh, cut. Cut beams and pipes, but watch out for very sharp blade. Sharpness. Cutting tool. Uh, cutting objects will lower efficiency of your saw and reduce damage deals. Remember to buy a new blade in the tool shop whenever it's necessary. Three. Improve. Get more experience by in cutting by investing points in your skill tree. Francois, thanks for being a member for five months, dude. Appreciate it. Okay, well, we own a saw. The lockpick is 270. Those are the only two things we can buy for now, okay? Wow, we have $2 left. Wow. Ben point in the skill tree. Um, let's. Well, we have two to spend, so let's do one in the hammer and one in the. one in the saw. Damage or speed? Well, both seem like they'll speed it up. If you can knock it down in one hit, that's much faster. Let's do one in damage and one in sharpness there. There we go. Order a ship. <gasps> we have $2. Wow, that's that's Raptor Hatchling prices. Wow. Like, Mc, McDonald's is too expensive for $2 for most things. All right, no active orders. We are going to buy the ship here. Ship tube, simply the best shipwrecks. Uh, rusted steel, very small amount of regular steel. Oh, stainless steel, that's the different qualities, okay. Uh, copper, aluminum, chrome, uh, chrome, chromium? Alcohols, none. Oh, it's alcohol, what? Oh, I thought that would be like glass. Uh, silver, scrap, gold, scrap. Cast iron, lead, titanium, oil, petroleum, and chemicals. Okay, so that's the differentiation between the materials. Uh, let's see. The name is Friday from the United States. Built in 1990. Weight 4,000 yeah, 4, kilograms. Uh, let's see. Your ship has been delivered at 8 a.m. You can find it on the beach. Next booking payment will be at 8 a.m. Oh, damn. I didn't know there was like a time. Oh, man. Oh, well, it's only a dollar a day. Well, let's uh, get to the car. Wait, it says wait for the ship. Oh, we gotta go to bed? Wait, then I'm gonna... Oh, they're gonna charge me two dollars. What? They charged me like a dollar for it, but it's not here. I gotta wait for it, and they're gonna charge me for another... Oh, that's a scam. Lords of Floppy Pancakes, thanks for the two ninety nine, dude. Appreciate the support. You're about to sleep. You'll wake up at 8 a.m. the next day. All items left on the ground will disappear. New items will appear on the beach. Items on the ship stay untouched. Ooh. We can find random stuff on the beach. That's cool. Bum, bum. You bought the game called Ghost of Tsushima four days ago on PS4? Fantastic game, bro. Fantastic game. Hey, there it is. Wow. Bum, bum. Ah, there we are. All right, let's roll out, chat. Amen, brother. Is there like a third-person view? Let's see. Would be nice for the truck. Camera, car, C. There we go. And we can turn on the headlights. Sweet, there we go. Cool. This kind of actually reminds me of driving the truck in uh, Gold Rush. Oh, 
Wow. How do I like get on the ship? I can't. I can't get up. Uh. Is there a way I can lower the tailgate and jump up there? Hmm. Oh, there we go. Wow, this is a really, really weird thing. Why the glasses? You always wear glasses? Wait a minute. That means you've seen more than one stream and you haven't read the description in its entirety down below? Exclamation point description. Steel post. Okay, so I guess we can just take whatever we want. Does hitting the shiny spot give us more material? Like, if it's just faster, it just seems easier to just stand here and do this. Yeah, there we go. That's way easier. Alright, well now we're having a barrel of fun. Okay, we got oil in there. Nice. But still, why the glasses? Nope, didn't bother. Alright, we're going to go ahead and time you out. That'll give you a good five minutes or so to read the description. And then, there you go. Imagine that. Imagine that, chat. You ask a question, you're told where the answer's found, and not good enough for me. I want a personalized Hallmark card delivered to my house by Jesus with a full description. I want a response right now. Like, what are you, Leslie Stahl? Get the hell out of here. Music's nice and peaceful. How dare you speak to me that way, YouTuber? Hurt feeling police are on the way. Indeed they are. Some of you are not going to make it. Life is very difficult. You're not going to make it. Oh my god, this YouTuber needs to go to jail. Cops are on the way, guys. Don't worry. Bum, bum, bum. Yes, this YouTuber is out of control. Yeah, to be fair, there's... I mean, to be fair, a description has been on YouTube since uh, day one in 2005. So, I mean, it's kind of new. It's only been there for like 15 years. Be fair. <laughs> Do we have any skill points yet to spend? Oh, good. We have two more. All right. Let's up that hammer speed and... Wait. How come... Wait. That doesn't make any sense. You can upgrade the car to have two additional slots? What does that have to do with the hammer? Well, let's unlock that one so we can unlock the hammer speed next. Okay, we need a higher quality tool to break that down. That is cast iron. Oh, we're close enough to the... Oh, I was trying to get to the truck without breaking it down. Wait, the pallet gives us rusted steel? Maybe in the nails, I guess. Well, that's kind of smart, though. The game breaks down whatever materials you might find into, like, a simplified material. Like, if you break down a pallet, you're... Yeah, you're probably going to find rusted nails. But it simplifies it as just what the material is, rather than, like, giving you an actual item. That well, makes sense. Now that's 
That's a lot of damage! Yeah, it is. <laughs> no more space in the inventory. Actually, I think some of this stuff might stack. Oh yeah, so some things stack to five. Or it looks like most things do. Let's transfer everything to the car and back to the back to the boat. Yeah, it is satisfying to clean up stuff in this game. Probably rusted iron again here. Ooh. Unless there's something inside of it. We might find good items in these boxes. Nothing. Oh. oh, there's gonna be copper on this. There's gotta be. I wonder if we actually get to like cut this whole ship apart. Right now, we're just we're just kind of taking apart the like the components on the surface. Uh, for the crate, use the saw. Well, it's showing the hammer, though, on the screen. Yeah, well, let me use the saw. I think the saw's, the saw's for pipes and things. Oh, we're a new level now. Okay, let's increase that hammer speed again. Uh, super hit. A single hit that deals three times damage. Press right mouse button to use. Ooh. Let's just... Yeah, we'll max out the hammer. That's all we're using so far. All right, let's try that super hit. Ah, uh, okay. So the uh, it's in the lower right corner with the lightning bolt. Yeah, now we're Thor. That's right. You love seeing Donna Man the other day. You want them to add more to it. Yeah, unfortunately, I think that's uh, that game has been finished. I'm sure they're working on something new now. Well, this game feels really chill. Uh, hitting the shiny spots does a little bit more damage, but sometimes finding them is slower than just hitting it again. And sometimes you can't reach them because it's behind an object, I guess. I guess, I guess. I guess. Dot, dot, dot. Okay, well that should be everything here that we can take care of. The other items require a higher tier tool. Oh, we need a welder for that. Okay, so there's a there's a torch in the game. That's cool. Now we're getting full on inventory. Alright, we'll keep working for the end of the day. So that's everything on the deck. Ooh, we can buy a lockpick to get through that door. Nice. Okay. Oh, okay, we need a lockpick to go inside. Beavers are coming to Planet Zoo. Yeah, that's what I was trying to tell you the other day. There was um, 
The Planet Zoo people were a little unhappy because somebody uh, leaked the uh, next DLC for Planet Zoo. But it is a, uh, it's basically a Canadian DLC, bud. It's got beavers in there and moose and meese. It's going to be cool. That's what I want to make is, uh, I'm going to make a Canadian zoo the next time. Jessica will have to show me the way of her people. Okay, so it looks like we can get a lockpick to break open three things. Yeah, I, I didn't want to say anything because I, you know, the, the ladies who run the PR campaign for, um, uh, for all things with, um, Planet Zoo and Jurassic World, they, they were kind of upset because, you know, they trust creators not to say anything and somebody, somebody spoke, was said something when they weren't supposed to and it's like, it, it certainly wasn't me, but I don't want to, I don't want to, like, make them mad because it's not an easy job to, like, keep a secret and want to share it with everybody because you're excited to and that's your job. Like, obviously, they're really, they're just as passionate about games as we are, so when they tell somebody something that they're supposed to agree to be a secret, especially, like, legally, it's like, bro, don't, don't snitch. Like, keep it secret, bro. What is this thing here? Uh, collect enough materials to build a workshop. What? I can build a workshop? For sale. Forge and storage space. Oh, what? We need 400 bucks, though, for this. I need to keep 6 copper and 10 rusted steel. Ooh. What does that do? Does that allow me to uh, break down materials even more? Let's stop here for a minute. Okay, so let's keep rusted steel times 6. And copper times 6. So let's sell... Cast iron... We just need to keep rusted steel. Oil probably sells for a bit. We'll make a couple sales. Bom, bom, bom. Let's see. Oil sells for 40 but Oh, well, I, then again, we got to sell it based on the price at the time, too. So some things might not sell for a good price. So... It looks like copper is selling for the best, but we need a little bit of money to get us started. Oil sells for... F oh, that actually, this is $9. Damn. Everything we have is low quality, though, so... Yeah, everything we have is, like, tier one. So, and we're supposed to keep some copper. We need to keep at least six. Let's we'll split to six there. And we'll just sell the copper. Bum, 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 bum. Let's see. Oil, sir? We'll sell that. Copper. Let's see. Uh, chemicals would be blue. Everything we have is this kind of like purple color. So everything falls into this first box until we get advanced tools. We'll go back to the ship though and get some better price stuff anyway. Let's try to get 400 and sell that, uh, or build that, um, that workshop. I'm curious to see what that looks like. There'll be mini ships. Oh, that's good. 500 bucks. That's a good start. And we need more space anyway for the better materials tomorrow. Okay, let's build a workshop. So we need 10 rusted steel and 6 copper in our inventory. So, rusted steel and copper. Wait, was it 6 and 6 or 10? Oh, I forgot now. I'll just take 10. Oh yeah, 10 rusted steel, 6 copper, and 400 bucks. Let's see what this looks like. This actually might allow us to make uh, better materials and thus make more money. We'll have to see how it works. Ooh. Workshop. Melting. Combined materials. Oh, we can make a lot of material from this. So we can make uh, alloys. Combine materials and melt them down to create new alloys. Every alloy requires different melting conditions. You need to carefully set up the furnace. To be careful, one mistake can ruin your materials. 
Warehouse. Use a warehouse near the furnace to store materials. Oh, good. Now we have additional storage. Upgrade. Expand your workshop to acquire uh, access to new furnace melting options. Temperature, air, and water access is very important in the melting process. By upgrading your... You also increase your storage space. Ah, good. Okay, that's cool. We got a lot of a lot of storage space. Well, that's cool. Okay. Well, I think we'll uh, I think we'll just break everything down as quickly as we can. I need to buy a lockpick too. Let's see how much the lockpick set is. What was it? One twenty-seven or some weird price? Oh, two seventy. Hmm. Well, we don't have much materials left, so maybe we'll just break everything else down. Or wait, would iron and steel give us something? That doesn't seem right. What are the what are the recipes? Rusted steel plus copper plus oh equals on alloyed steel. But well, must be a thousand degrees. So steel and copper equals that. Cast iron and steel. Okay, we don't have that. So the only thing we can make is this, but we don't have copper. Well, that's cool. We can actually sell things for more money. I guess I'm just going to sell the rest of this and see what we get in the boxes. Maybe there's cash or something. Um, yeah, the prices all suck. Uh, still don't have enough. Okay, we'll head back tomorrow. If there's anything around here we can break down. Also, didn't they say we could find things on the beach? Let's take a, a look on the beach. Maybe we can find random stuff on the beach. Sorry, sir. Oh my god. <laughs> Oops. Uh oh. YouTuber jail. Can things like this be broken down? Oh, we can find random stuff. Oh, cool. We can find stuff anywhere. Ah, okay, so there's lots and lots of stuff to find. Oh, wow, yeah, there's stuff just laying around everywhere. Oh, dude. That's actually... Oh, that's worth quite a bit. We could make alloy out of that. So, if you're out of money, or if you're in between ships, you can just, like, wait a day and find other materials. So if you, if you don't have enough money for, like, a... To, to rent another ship, you can just grab stuff on the shore. Oh, well, that's easy. Oh, dude, we should try to make alloy then. Oh, dude, stuff's everywhere. You're already here? Oh, alloy's in chat. Yeah, that's true. Uh, apparently, we can sell you for an advanced price, but we'd, ne we'd never sell you. It's too fun to see you uh, spam hot pocket emotes, especially that's how we're gonna how we're gonna heat up our uh, thingy there. Bum bum. See you not worth my time. I don't want YouTube to read descriptions. Dot dot dot. Dude, you after I timed you out for five minutes, you sat here just waiting to say that message, dude. You just want attention, that's fine. You got what you wanted. It's also not an airport, you don't have to announce your departure. You're clear to leave the gate at any time. You don't need approval from ATC. Just leave. Wow, there's just stuff everywhere, dude. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, today my name is no longer Raptor, it's Scraptor today. Yeah, that's true. Oh yeah, if you take a minute to look around, there's there's stuff you can salvage everywhere. Dude, there's more money laying on the beach than there was on the boat. I can't believe that, man. There's stuff everywhere. Oh, dude, we, dude, we could just drive... Oh, man. Now I regret even renting that boat. We should have just spent the first day driving around. <laughs> dude, there's so much stuff. Yeah, how much copper did I get? We have five copper and five rusted steel, so... It's pretty likely that we can actually, uh... Yeah, it regenerates. The game does say that each day new stuff washes up on the shore. 
So I don't know if that means items we can break down or just random materials, but that's a nice way to keep your money coming in. It's not much stuff, but like at the beginning it's a big help because we don't have a lot of money. Oh, dude, there's stuff everywhere. Okay, let's head back to our workshop and drop off stuff. I wonder if at midnight the game will, like, automatically put us in bed. Let's see. Let's try to make one of these. One rusted steel and one copper equals one alloy. So, what, can we do, like, a five and five? Oh, yeah, you can stack up to 25. Fortunately, I only have four, so we'll do nine and four. And then we need to go to a thousand degrees. Wait, there might be more in storage. Nope. All right, let's see how this works. It's alive. Tutorial finished. There's a lot to unlock through the game. Level up and gain access to new ships and recipes. Orders. Deliver required materials to complete orders and get rewards. Oh, there's ways to get extra money by following the orders. Okay. So someone will order like something specific and then we can break it down from a ship smelt and then get it to them if needed. Uh, you'll never be able to complete them all. New orders will show up every day. Okay. So sometimes we just won't be able to do it. Wow. That gave us a hell of a lot of materials. Bro. How much does this sell for? Alloy sells for 30 bucks. Damn. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Okay. I'll take that lockpick then, sir. Thank you. Lockpick. Uh, use the lockpick to open closed chests and doors. Uh, different chests have different lock... Uh, difficulty levels. If you ever find short of lockpicks, buy more in the workshop. Oh, no. We have to buy a resupply. Damn it. Oh, so I only bought, like, one? Oh, yeah. Okay, well, hopefully we don't... Hopefully we don't break it. Alright, let's go to bed and we'll break down the rest of that ship and then we'll try to check the beach in the evening because it seems like there's stuff everywhere. Like, there's a lot of stuff around. There's just not enough time to... You know, we're one person, so can't do everything. Chicken! Oh my god. That's my favorite type of dino nugget. Wait, that's not even my house. Wait, they want me to go get a new order. Oh, I thought I was going to bed. Hello, sir. Uh, choose an order. New orders will show every day if you won't take an order. Oh, he would have given me 480 if I had 8. Oh, nice. We can make more of these then for more cash. Uh, six cast iron. Dude, I can do that right now. I'll be right back. Can we roast the chicken in the forge? Maybe. Yeah, let's grab six scrap iron. Or, uh, rusted steel, yeah. Is that what he wanted, or was it cast iron? I forgot. <laughs> Break down the chicken. Alright. And then we'll we'll do the alloy one to him now. I didn't know he was a he was a he was a guy. Oh damn! It's six cast iron. Never mind. The order will probably end in like ten minutes, so that's okay. Do we have enough cast iron? Mm, oh yeah, we do. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. The music is so nice. Excuse me, excuse me, pardon me. There we go. New level. Get a new order. Person doesn't have any orders. Okay, so we'll have to get a new one tomorrow. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. All right, we'll store everything until tomorrow. We have to get a new order, but he doesn't have any, so we'll... That'll just have to be a daily thing. All right, so daily tasks are then uh, break... Go to the... 
go to the ship to use the lockpick, get enough money to buy higher quality tools, get a new order to see if we can find stuff on the beach to smelt, and then probably smelt materials anyway for more money. So the order... So the thing that'll probably give us the most money is smelted alloys from an order. That'll give us a lot more money. Okay, let's do that then. That's really what we want, is orders. Music's a little weird. Oh wait, can we build something here too? Ooh, there's more stuff to build. Oh, a barracks. Does that allow us to... Oh, not implement it in prologue. It allow, it, that probably allows us to hire employees in order to get more uh, things done during the day. That's cool. Alright, choose an order. New orders will show every day. Non-alloyed... Uh, Unalloyed steel. Oh, I guess I'll take an order when I can actually deliver it, I guess. Okay, let's go find out what's on that ship. Did I empty the truck? Oh, the truck spawns back at the house, too. Okay, so the truck is completely empty. Let's go see what we can find in those boxes. <laughs> is this a horror game? Uh, not necessarily. Oh, I see stuff all over the beach, though. And we need better tools to break those down. Oh. Is this literally the same lockpick system from... Co it's the same from Gas Station Simulator. Oh my god. It's the same! It's literally the same. Oh, petroleum. And alcohol, okay. Boy, there's a lot of stuff. Franc Francois, thanks for the 35. Which sim is the most fun? I think City Builders. I like them. Can I break these things down, too? Oh, I can't break those down. I forgot all about that. We got more skill points. Nice. Well, we've mostly been beating crap with the hammer. Right, I'm going to save these until until we see our next thing. Oh, wait. There's another... Ah. Oh. Okay, we got two more things to unlock. Okay, so we need more tools for these things, so we got to come back in here later. Yeah, there's a lot, a lot more stuff to break down. Let's get that box on the top. Ooh. Oh yeah, we're getting all the blue stuff now. It's like first try. Wow. Alright, we got a heater. Well, this looks super valuable. But we can't break any of that down. Oh, it's a master safe. Unlock ability to open master lock. Oh. Yeah, from all my experience in uh, gas station simulator, this is a breeze. Okay, well, that's pretty much everything until we get advanced equipment. Bum, bum. Yeah, apparently that lock, 
lockpick mini game is like something you can developers can buy in the Unreal Engine. Okay, let's drive around and pick up a bunch of scrap. We're finding a lot of copper, which will probably be what we need for that one guy's goal. Yeah, I see stuff everywhere. Bum, bum. Hmm. And finding this stuff is easier than clicking that join button. It's that easy. Wow. And there's oil all over here. Cast iron, okay. Okay. Bring the truck over here, get all that cast iron picked up. Man, that's a lot of stuff. Call the truck? This isn't uh, Kit from Knight Rider. <laughs> I can't have him pull up. Yeah, it seems like it's the best... Uh, best thing in the game is to just like come out here and gather all the materials. Rather than even buying a ship. Like, there's so much out here. But then again, uh, what I would say is, yeah, sp uh, build the workshop as soon as you can so you can get some storage space. And then you have three spaces where you can store stuff. Your inventory, your truck, and then your workshop. So once you fill all those up, then find the guy for the orders and start, like, pumping out those orders. But it looks like you can only do one a day, so then once you do that, just go for the, go for the boat. Yeah, maybe there'll be a kit from Knight Rider DLC. Kit will be implemented into the... Uh... Oh, you can break this stuff down, too. What about these? Oh, we have a lockpick box. I wouldn't even break these down. It's not even worth our time. Actually, wait. We get a copper out of it, so I will... cast iron, a lot of steel, a lot of oil. We want more copper, though. Okay, we still got sp plenty of space. Hmm. Copper collector, yeah. I need to find 
trillion pennies. I do like how it shows the inventory space of the truck too. But some of these materials still might stack in the in the truck. It looks like anything we can hold up to five. Man, that's a lot of stuff. Okay, well, we can't stack any more rusted steel. Cast iron, we can stack more of, though. I need to find another box. There's got to be another one somewhere. Chad, if you see a box, let me know. We gotta do some more lock picking. Also give us copper. Let's run back to the truck. Can I get a shout out? Be sure to click or tap subscribe or become a member today. True. Was a box a few minutes ago. Yeah, but you gotta tell me like where, and it's gonna be hard for you to describe it because if I, if I walk past it, I probably didn't see it, and then being like, oh, box was back there. It's like, nope. Oh. What if we can go out on those ships? There might. I wonder if there's a way to get out there. Where's the truck? Okay, we still have some more inventory space. What's the truck stacked up to? Is everything five? We got three more petroleum, but that's a special item. Two more aluminum. S what? Silver scrap, really? Huh. Um. I wonder what we should gather more of. There's some copper. I definitely want copper for the uh, alloy. Definitely want copper every time we see it. Oh, there's a box. Aluminum and cast iron in the boxes. Copper seems to be the rarest of the uh, tier one materials. Oil and everything else have been pretty damn plentiful. All right, let's head back. We'll find some more stuff tomorrow. If it all washes up right away anyway, it's basically unlimited. take the long way though looking for copper or a box I feel like a box could be in here Smelt down the cast iron, too. Hmm. 
Well, this is all tier one material. That's all we can. F Eventually, we can only find like the better materials on the ship. So there'll be a point where it's not worth our time to gather scrap off the ground. It it will bring us money, but not as much as actually scrapping. There was a box. Okay. Where, uh... Oh, that's the get a new order guy. Okay, let's um, complete another order. Oh, I can push the truck? I guess that's a good thing. Just in case your truck gets stuck, you can push it. Don't even know my own strength. Pog lad. Alright, sir, what do you got for us? Nine unalloyed steel. I think we can try to make that. Bum, 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 bum. Thank you for talking about devs on your channel. It taught me how to contact them. Oh, you're welcome. Okay, so basically we just got to put a ton of rusted steel and copper in there. I guess I can right-click. Boom, boom. Okay, hopefully that's enough. We'll make a ton of it. Yeah, it's weird. Usually you need a broom to push a car. That's true, Chad. Yeah. Okay, so we can make 12. So we'll take some of these back. Five, ten... Oops. Five, ten, twelve. Okay, cool. Fire that bad boy up to a thousand and let her rip, brother. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we'll bring these to the order guy and then we'll sell. We could probably hold on to the rest, actually, because. He seems to order alloys every day. Maybe. Nice. 540 bucks. And we've reached a new level. Okay. Dump everything else in the box. And anything else in the truck we can dump. See if it'll stack up. Okay. Oh boy, things are getting full. Actually, you know what? I'll just leave the truck here. It'll teleport back to the house. Way easier to drive. Uh, walk than it is to drive. Oh, not to mention the house is right here. I think. Bedtime. Alright, so how do we buy a new tool? Let's see. Booking paid. That's yeah, only a dollar for the book. Alright. Shop upgrade. Oh, we have to upgrade his shop for him. To, oh. That's like you building an extra... Like, that's like you building a Walmart so then you can pay Walmart to... Like, build Walmart for free, buy all the materials to build your local Walmart for free, and then you stock the Walmart, and then you pay Walmart... Oh man! All right, so we need four rust. We need four copper and three al unalloyed steel, and that's going to get us the saw and the better hammer, I think. So now we got to be on the lookout for copper. We should have the steel, right? Or not the steel, but the. Hello from Moscow, Russia. Well, thank you for watching. Hope things are going good for you out there in Moscow. Okay, so we have. Wait. How much is in storage? 
Okay, so we'll be all right with the steel, right? So we need six rusted steel and four copper. All right, we'll just go out on an adventure. Raptor's an amazing gamer and friend. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks to all of you smashing the like button. Again, remember, that gives you guys the power to promote the channel on the algorithm to anybody else who hasn't yet found it. So if you haven't yet smashed that uh, like button, now is a great time to smash it. Thanks again for subscribing, and welcome to all of our new members, too. Appreciate everybody becoming members and hanging out. FSX, you mean Microsoft Flight Simulator? It's a good game. We played the new one. That's a lot of fun. All right, mostly today we're on the lookout for copper or things that we can break down for copper. If we're going to break the rest of that ship down, we need better materials. Actually, I think, do these give copper or is it the larger pipes? Yeah, it's the larger pipes. Yeah, copper's rare, man. Oh, we got a box. That's nice. This makes you think of uh, Ray from Force Awakens. Yeah. Or... That's a great... It's a great game. I mean, uh, no, I'm sorry, the, uh... I already forgot the name of that game, but there's there's the one where you also start in the Shipbreaker Planet. What the, uh, what is that called again? The... Oh, what's the name of that game? Not Ray, but the, uh, the hell? Force something? I thought that was a great Star Wars game. Fallen Order. Yeah, thank you. Sorry. Not Force. Fallen Order. Yep, that was that was a great Star Wars game. I enjoyed that a lot. One of the games that kind of like taught me about combat and parry a lot more. I really enjoyed that. Yeah, we're finding a lot of steel and aluminum today. Where's the copper, bro? We have three. We need more. Yeah, Hard, Hard Space Shipbreaker is another game like this, too, yeah. Although, uh, Fallen Order, you really... You don't really do... <laughs> you, you start on a planet about shipbreaking in that game, but you're there for maybe 30 minutes or so, and it's a pretty cool planet, though, and a great game. Great, great, great game. Uh, it's one of those games where, like, I beat it on, oh, I think, normal difficulty, but it felt hard, but then after beating it, I want to go back and do it again. Okay, we're probably going to leave a lot of materials behind because we're simply running low on space. Alright, let's head back and see if we can fix up this guy's shop. Yeah, these posts you can beat down for copper. Yeah, that's true. Typically, we weren't seeing a lot of those before. I think those spawn randomly, just like a few of the other items you can break down. They, they all seem to spawn at random. That's cool. Yeah, so copper seems to be rare, and you got to find those posts for it. That's good enough for now. Bum, bum, bum. Rap, did you see the new party bus characters on Gas Station Sim? Uh, what do you mean?
Raptor's now a character? It's always been a character since the game came out. We showcased that on the channel. Where, where have you been, Hydro? Yeah, we, we took a look at that quite a bit. Lots of good fun, that game. I like it. I like it a lot. Where's this uh, shop? There it is. Yeah, that'll do. Bum, bum, bum. We're also in the credits for that game, too. Chat is in the uh, credits. That's why we have our party bus emote, too. Let's get a party bus wall in chat. Yeah, party bus. Yeah. Cool stuff. It's good lore. It's true. All right, shop upgrade. We need six rusted steel, and then I need to grab that unalloyed steel. So, unalloyed steel, rusted steel. Ah, uh, now we can make the tool shop. Yes. Now we get some decent tools. Wow, we build the shop for him and he still charges us. Angle grinder, steel hammer, and blowtorch. Yeah, we definitely need the blowtorch and the steel hammer. But well, let's start with the blowtorch. That's the cheapest. Oh. Okay, let's see what our friend, the order guy, wants. It's a scam, yeah. Yeah, we build him his shop, we pay our money, and then he charges us more of our money. Imagine that. It's like... Hey, Chad, I'm going to need you guys to uh, buy a plot of land for me, and then I want you to build the house for me. And then also, if you could pay my mortgage, too, that, that'd be great. All yourself, personally. Don't worry, it's a small favor to ask. Like, what? This guy wants 10 cast iron. That's a good one. That's easy. Just by watching the stream, your PC fans getting loud. Yeah, it takes a lot of PC power to process this this beauty right here. Yeah, he's Tom Nook, yeah. That little thief. Uh, we must have more stuff in the box. And we'll grab the stuff out of the box, and then I'll put the better stuff in here. Oh, we had a lot of oil, too. I think we can only get one order from him a day. Some of them are kind of like, I don't know, I feel like I want to keep some of these materials, but we could also try to sell things to the other guys based on what, what the prices are. Get a new order. Okay. You only do one order a day. All in order. Alright, well, we can get the blowtorch and go to the uh, boat now. Wait, there's a new order over here? There's more than one person? Oh, there's multiple guys for orders. Oh. That's... Okay, that's interesting. Uh, nine rusted steel or ten on alloyed. Ooh. Eh. Let's see what we can get from... Are you okay? You're just, like, sleeping in a... Like a destroyed boat. <laughs> Does Dennis come by and spray our shack? How dare you, chat. How dare you? Let's check prices for today. This guy is buying oil for 10 and alcohol for 54. Damn. Wait, what's he buying uh, on alloyed steel for? 28. He's also buying oil. I need all the money so we can get to the tier 2 stuff. So he's buying alcohol for 54. That's a hell of a lot of money. Yeah, 540 bucks. Wow. 750. Nice. Oh, and he's buying uh, steel for 12. Or, uh, yeah. He's buying a cast iron for a little bit increase, too. All right, cast iron. Let's put the copper away, rusted steel. 
cast iron. Oh, baby. Oh, that's going to get us so much money. How much would it be? 620, nice. Cool, well now we can buy the blowtorch tier one. Uh, blow blowtorch to cut metal using high temperature, very dangerous, keep away from flammable objects. Ooh. Uh, torch, burn. Focus on burning outlined handles and hinges to first scrap objects. Fuel. If you like a lot of burning, you'll quickly run out of fuel. Buy more at the tool shop. Oh, so we gotta be, buy fuel for it, okay. Improve, get more experience by burning in burning by spending points in your skill tree. Okay. Hammer, 900. Best friend of every ship destroyer. Highly experienced hammer wielder can destroy objects with a single hit. Oh good, that replaces our old hammer. Still need a thousand bucks for the uh, other hammer. Okay, I'm going to take our blue materials and try to store them in the box. We'll store this on the truck. Okay, let's go back to the boat now. Finish this off. Bum, 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 bum. The music's really weird. It's like... Mm, I think the music could be more atmospheric. Okay, so now we have the tier two hammer, nice. So we'll get two steel and aluminum from this. Nice. And that aluminum looks like copper. I like the whole breaking mechanic when things go down in pieces like that. Okay, so we can't break any of these. Well, that requires the uh, welder. Nice. Okay, let's see how this works. What? Oh, I gotta hit the little white things? Okay. That's kinda cool. Doing this without a, any sort of eye or face protection. That's nice. That was a lot of work for, like, not much material. These things aren't that great, but we're going to 100% the boat. Let me put some skills into this thing. Uh, plus 5 torch fuel, plus 10 torch damage. It's kind of weird to me how, like, the cars... You can increase the car space by <laughs> upgrading the torch. Really weird. Well, let's put everything in a torch. Torch deals three times damage for ten seconds. Right mouse button to use for super fuel. Alright, we'll use that then.
Hopefully the fuel's not too expensive. Oh yeah, we still need to get uh, better lockpicks too here to get into that main safe. Yeah, remind me, chat, that there's one more thing on the ship. The big safe. Oh god. Okay, nice. Hmm. space okay we'll go back to the boat I mean the car and then back to the boat damn we got a lot of stuff There's one more thing there yep and we got the master lock to do I don't I don't see an option for us to upload our lock pick oh there it is oh, okay so we have to go down that tree oh no Okay, so we gotta spend all of our skill points there. Well, that sucks. I gotta know what's in that safe, chat. Smash like if you gotta know what's in that safe. We'll keep the ship for another day if you wanna if you wanna see what's in that safe. Otherwise, we'll get rid of the ship. It's gonna go. We'll get rid of it. Looks like there's three torches that we can buy too. So of all the equipment, it looks like there's three levels. That's kind of cool. Nobody wants to know what's in the safe? Okay. Alright, we'll get rid of the ship then. At the end of the day, we'll say goodbye. Is that everything then? Can't even take the door off the hinge, oh well. In the safe there's a secret recipe of chicken. Okay, I guess I have to go in the safe now. But we're gonna need some more XP for that. Nightwalker, thanks for being a member for two months, man. So we don't need money now, we need XP. I guess we need money for the... That other piece of equipment, whatever it is. Oh yeah, the... Um, Oh, what was it? Oh yeah, the angle grinder. Yeah. Which is probably like a tier 2 saw. Hmm. Oh, let's take another nap. So it seems like the best way for us to level up now is c to complete orders. So anytime we see those alloy orders, we can go do that. We're only paying a dollar a day to rent the ship anyway. 
which is the same price as becoming a member for 30 days. Click it and tap and join. What? Six cast steel or seven on out. Ooh. I need to see what the recipes are for this. Oh. I like the town. Oh, we have new recipes. I don't remember seeing this. Brass and aluminum. Or no, aluminum and copper is brass. Yep. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> oh, three oil equals... Or oil and oil equals kerosene. Interesting. So to make cast steel, it's cast iron plus steel. I guess it makes sense with the name cast and steel. We have how much? Five. Well, that's lead. So we can make 15. 5, 10, 15. Wait, wait. Oh no, that's, that's rusted steel. Okay, so we can make 18. Or no, 17, unless... Oh, I, need more ca I need more cast iron, then. 5, 10, 15, 16, 17... Okay, well, we're going to have to go find a thingy. Well, that's not too hard. Oh, all right. Let's make 20. Oh, that's good enough. Bum, bum, bum. So we'll drop off copper and steel. And that guy wanted something else. What was the other part? I didn't want to take the order because I didn't know how to make the cast steel yet. It would be nice to see a little recipe book when you're in the field. Like, press tab and see recipes. Oh, he wants eight rusted steel with that? Oh, we can do that. So, as for rusted steel, we have... Four. Oh, we have nine. Okay, that's enough. Okay, so cast steel's 1,500 degrees. Let's make sure we change that. 1,500. And then... Okay, that should make us our cast steel. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> cool. I'll see if this guy's buying any. Nope, low too low of a price. Bum bum. Hello in Russian is Privyet. Indeed it is. Alright, let's finish that quest. New level! Alright. Two points to spend. I need two more points to get the advanced master lockpick. Music is pleasant? Yeah. Feels like very home on the range. Six cast iron and six cast steel. Seven copper and four rusted steel. Ooh, that's eight hundred dollars. Well, I don't I probably can't find enough steel for this guy. Oh wait, we have We have eight. Oh okay, we just need six cast iron. Alright, I'll do that. 
And you need how much? Wait. Oh, I need one more cast iron. Or no, yeah. Six and six, we're good. All right, we'll go grab one. Uh, oh, a box. We may as well grab all this stuff. Tricky one. Um, um. Alright, we're gonna go back to that guy and let's see if we can get some money. Money, money! Sweet. Okay, so now we have the master locks. Okay, Chad, if you get to 361 likes, we'll go, we'll go, uh, we'll go find out what's in the, in the safe. But that would require everyone to reach over and tap a button for free. I, I don't know if we'll be able to manage it, Chad. It's just too, too high of a goal. We might be stun locked Tickets on the to beach the 1 forever. Million subscriber party in the safe. Oh, Mom. really? Oh, thank you, Rob, for the, uh, the big O10, my friend. Thank you. Wait, does this auto stack stuff? Like, that's why I did that. I took stuff in my inventory and put it back, hoping that the game, like, stacks the stuff up to five. Oh, darn it. Chat, you got way too high over the goal. I said only 362, but all right, I guess. I guess I'll do it for 405, but not a single like more. We'll drive over there in the hopes that chat will get to 405 likes, but... We all know it's impossible for chat to get to 412 likes. It's just not going to happen. And if chat ever gets to 425 likes, we'll open up that safe. Okay. <gasps> Holy crap. Silver and gold, baby. Woo! That was worth it. Wow. <laughs> Well, that was awesome. We're rich, chat. We can buy a McDonald's value meal. Wow. And maybe a, a large fry. Pog lad. That's a pog lad right there. All right, let's drive home. Because now we got a boatload of cash and buy some new stuff. I don't think we have to worry about these materials on the ground anymore unless we need them for an order. It is a good idea, though, to get that rusted steel and cast iron. Okay. Um... Wait, no, no, no. I'll keep the... Uh... Keep the good stuff on me and the crap can go in the car. I feel like we can... Save silver and gold for something, though. I, we could probably just sell it alone for a ton of money. This guy will buy silver for... Well, that's gold for 154. Silver's for 150, though. But can we turn it into a combo? Uh, there might there might be something we can melt it into. I'm going to hold on to it just in case. But let's buy that angle grinder for 1,000. And how much for the shop upgrade? Uh, six rusted steel, four copper, and three unalloyed steel for another... Oh, wait. No, we can't upgrade the shop again. 
only tier one. But remember, this is the prologue, not the full game. So we can probably upgrade the shop again, but uh, not not in this version. So we're fully upgraded then. Buy that angle grinder, baby. That beats the saw. Okay, now we got everything we need, tool-wise. Now we just need uh, more experience. Oh, whoa, whoa, there's explosives here? Oh. So we'll be able to use demo charges, breach charges. Wait a minute, that padlock reminds me of one of our emotes. Padlock. No. But bum, bum lock. No, stun, stun lock. That's it. Zip line and explosives are the other two things we can get. That's going to be interesting as hell. And then we can get a mop too. Although I think we need to upgrade the shop again. And then management is not implemented in the prologue. So that must be where we manage our employees from from the barracks when we can build that. So that's another thing we can build in another version. Yep. So that must be for workers. That's cool. I wonder if we can get people to help us. Then we can kick back and take the day off. Oh, I forgot I had steel in there. Ooh. Okay, we can check on orders, but, um, yeah, let's go do that. I need the XP now. So the best way to get XP is going to have to be through those orders, because every time you complete one, you just, it's auto level up, which is like four new points, or three new points, or whatever. Uh, let's see, five cast iron and four cast steel. Eight rusted steel and five copper. I think I'll take this one because I want to hold on to the steel. They both give you a level, so yeah, this will just be easier. Alright, let's take an inventory. So we need... Oh, we got nothing. Can you push ships with the mop? I guess that remains to be seen. Well, we will see. Okay, we got copper times five, and now we just need rusted steel times eight, which is seven more. We'll just grab everything. Okay, so that's... Uh, five. Six. Okay, let's head back to the uh, shop. Or right, to the guy. To the order guy. Get a new ship. Yep, we can do that now. We can get a new ship now. But I'm just completing things to level up first. Leveling up will make us more powerful for breaking down those ships. And gives us more points to spend. Okay, let's level up our... So I think the saw also qualifies for the angle grinder. Yeah. Yep, so upgrading the saw upgrades will upgrade the angle grinder. Though I still think the hammer is the most useful thing. Maximum sharpness. Okay, so we're probably going to have to replace the, sh the saw blades at some point. Let's get the car upgrade too. Yeah, we got a long way to go in all these big O upgrades. All right, well, the first ship is done, as far as I know. So let's get a new ship. Nice, the car has a nice inventory. Oh, did the did the back of the truck change? Like, is there different boxes back there? Pretty sure it's the same. And then we'll put our nicer materials here. Is there a way to... Oh, we can upgrade the workshop. Oh, I didn't even see that. Uh, but we can't upgrade it in this version either. Damn. So we could pro in the in the final version of the game we could probably upgrade the uh, the workshop more, the shop more, and then this market guy. It's kind of weird though. These I feel like they could put more effort into making these. Like it's just a guy standing here. Like it'd be neat if it were like a guy with a truck ready to load up with materials or something. I feel like there could be a little more effort put into that. 
Okay, available ships. Uh, we're done. Okay, so we could we could buy another one of these small boats. Oh, okay, so we can keep we can keep doing the small ship over and over again. Or we could rent this one for two hundred. How much? Uh, we have sixteen hundred. Booking completed. Your ship will be delivered. Okay, we're done. Dismiss ship will disappear at eight. Okay, dismiss. And let's try this uh, ship here. Oh, you can see the details too. So this ship will have rusted steel large, steel very small, oh, amounts. Stainless steel none, cast iron small, lead very small, titanium none. Average copper, very small aluminum, no chromium. Chrom chromium. Large amount of oil, very small amount of petrol, and uh, no chemicals, no alcohol, no civil, silver scrap, and no gold. The name is Lotus from Poland in 1990. Well, let's book it. Okay, cool. Well, I guess we'll spend the rest of our day going around looking for random scrap and whatnot. Let's go to the right side of the beach. We've not gone down here. I feel like there could be a box on this ship here. There's a new climbing game coming out you think I should check out? Uh, send me a DM on the Discord with a Steam Store link or whatever, and I'll check it out. You guys are all welcome on the Discord. We got giveaways on the Discord all the time. A lot of people don't join the Discord when I tell them to, which means that a lot of, like a small amount of people are winning a lot amount of games. So if you want other people to win games that you could be winning yourself, make sure you do not go on the Discord. Don't smash join, don't unlock giveaways, don't do nothing. Nobody move. Everybody stay still. No one move. Don't do it. It's a, it's a trap. Don't do it. <laughs> All right, so this side of the map looks like a dead end. So I, I guess we're supposed to go left when we leave the house. Yeah, Jessica B, Tan, uh, Indrid, Jerry, they all like free games. Let, let them win. There's just a lot of stuff sitting out here. Can't believe it. Eh, these have rusted steel, so that's important. I guess a little bit of everything's important, but we will run out of inventory space. But I guess the main thing to do is to smelt everything down for a higher price. So find a little column A, a little column B, smelt it down, and sell it for big booty. Big booty. Nice. Too many games, too little time. That is true. Yeah, there's no way I can... Like, I want to play more Timber... I want to play more of everything. Any game you would suggest that I play again or check out, it's like, oh, I totally want to, but... Even when I stream twice a day and put up one or two videos a day, it's still not enough. Four, four, four videos on like four different games a day, still not enough time. Crazy. Maybe that's a good problem to have. The accident game yesterday was pretty cool. That one was an interesting little uh, puzzle solver. Yeah, first try. One hit and that thing crumbled.
Copper is super valuable. Super mega. Yeah, this game has a demo. Uh, we're playing the prologue, though, which is access... Uh, a little different access. like early access for just me. Only for me. The demo is kind of similar to this, but a little shorter. And less features. So this isn't necessarily a demo. It's a prologue, but a prologue is... A prologue is like an extended demo. It's like a little more than a demo, but not quite early access. Everybody started doing this prologue thing to, I think, try to show an extended demo without making demo part two. We didn't get anything good out of that, did we? No, I'll just... Oh, I need that copper, though. All right, let's load that onto the truck. Yeah, we can't. Looks like we need... What's the best material I can make? I guess we should make it to order, because I can make a ton of unalloyed steel. Or kerosene, but... We should wait until we get a specific order from the boys. And we're going to need a lot of space in the truck for that boat tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, well, let's take a nap. And our new ship will arrive. Let's take a look at it. Well, careful, sir. You're about to run aground. Oh, no. Oh. Cool. All right. Let's go get that ship. And we'll uh, do our orders when we get back and see if we have their materials. Wow, that's actually quite a large boat. I was expecting it to be much smaller. Wow. Oh, there's lots of stuff on here. Whoa, this is going to take us like a week. Wow. Oh, do we have new points to spend? Not yet. We're going to gather materials to see if we can do new contracts. Get our levels up. There we go. We should upgrade the smashy smashy. Yeah, the hammer is... It's crazy how much of the hammer we use. Yeah, the rental's a little expensive each day, but we'll more than likely get all those contracts done on the side. The orders. We can't break that down. Oh man, we're gonna have to spend a whole day welding. Oh, look at all the stuff up here. Okay, let's start at the front of the boat. And we'll work our way back. Poglad! This ship is big, man. This is a big old ship. And we probably have to go below deck, too. I'm sure there's some... I'm sure there's some stuff below... Below uh, deck. A 
some pog lad right there. So apparently everything we break down on the ship won't disappear the next day. So if it's on the ship, we're okay. Oh boy. Oh, we are we are completely out of room. Oh boy. Well, I guess our best bet would be to break down... If we start smelting all of our cast iron and copper, or whatever the combo is, we could we could make a lot of alloy and sell that for cash. Get that out of our inventory. Take a look at the value. Value on that is nine dollars. Damn, that's as much as the oil. Kerosene selling for thirty-eight dollars a barrel. Damn. Hmm. All right, sir. Well, we have a lot of steel on this ship. What's he buying the most? Steel for 45. If we combine that into these sheets, it's 67. That's a pretty good price. Yeah, 67 for... What are these things called again? Cast steel. So we need cast iron and steel. But we could probably do an order. Yeah, we should probably probably save for an order. I guess we could kind of cheat and use this as a storage spot too. Because this probably won't reset. We make six we can at least make sixteen. Let me go check the orders. Is this order guy not here anymore? I see him standing there. Oh, okay. You can only talk to one... Okay, only if there's an exclamation point. Okay. Unalloyed steel and four rusted steel gets us 340. And unalloyed steel is. It's rusted steel and copper. Yes. Okay, well, let's turn this into uh, whatever. So the ru cast steel is 1,500 degrees, okay. And let's do the copper and stuff. Copper and rusted steel. Oop. Grab it all. Okay. Oh, we can only do 25 at a time. Is that all we got? Okay. I wonder what we can turn the alcohol into. We'll have to see. Okay, so we can do 22 of these. 22 alloy. Wait, make sure you change the temperature. 1,000. Okay, that'll be fine. Great job mowing the beach. Thank you, viewer. You're leaving at 115? Okay. Doing all these games have made me want to do more like uh, like lawnmower simulator and power wash simulator. Just do some real super ultra chill streams. Super ultra chill. Okay, well we freed up a much a lot more space in the truck. 
This guy still wants four rusted steel. I'll run back to him real quick and then we'll drop everything off. I wish we could actually craft more storage. But I guess the best thing we can do is use our XP to upgrade the truck. Uh, hello, sir. There you are. Get a new order. Okay, so now we can do two orders a day. I game sometimes has become a member. Thank you very much for smashing that join button and becoming a member. Appreciate that. Welcome aboard. Enjoy the new emotes. Thank you for smashing join. Unauthorized Nate, thank you very much for becoming a member too. Appreciate that. Thank you very much for the support. Woo! All right, let's drop off some orders. Oh, he wants brass. Ooh, I don't... Uh, what's brass again? A loop. This game says aluminum and copper. I don't know where. I don't think we're going to be able to do that in one day. Wow, twelve hundred dollars though, and five seven cast steel. All right, Ishtar, thanks for watching. So we need aluminum and copper. I'm going to go ahead and dump off a ton of stuff in here and make inventory space Oop. inventory space Now the guy next to the furnace will buy them but the uh, the orders will buy them at a higher price We're going to go back to the boat and see if I can get more steel and copper and other things so I guess whatever you take from the order kind of dictates what you get for the day, but I guess it's it prevents you from like just doing a massive hoard of materials and then selling it all at once. So you basically want to prioritize gathering based on the orders because the orders will give you the most amount of money and they give you like an entire level of XP. And we have two more skill points, so let's increase car space and equipment slot. I think that's another storage space I think so yeah we need inventory and I remember there's stuff up here brown 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 I don't think there's anything else we can break down. Except for this. Petroleum and steel. Okay, welders will give us cast iron. what's happening with all of our shipping containers yes I'm stealing from them so it looks like anything hanging on the wall requires a welder anything on the ground you just bop with the hammer oh yeah there's definitely stuff down there Okay, this is a lot of oil. Ah, nothing. Oh, we got a box here. Nice. Alcohol. Chromium, silver, wow, okay. Oh, 
You can just open some boxes. Not everything has to be smash. Not everything has to be smashy smashy. Chore simulator? True. Some of the hottest games on Steam right now are literally, uh... Like, building businesses and stuff. People are really enjoying that. Electrical boxes. Ooh, another long box. More materials. Alcohol and cast iron again. Else will stack. All right. Well, that's about all we can do for today, space-wise. Just like uh, running out of materials. That's cool, though. That's a big old boat, man. That's a big old boat. All right. Let's head back to the old shop. Icarus Beta Weekend 3, Poglad. Yeah, we're going to be doing an Icarus stream next. One's in the chat if you're going to be in our next stream. One's in chat if you smash the like button, too. One's in chat if you're watching live. One's in chat if you have a pulse. Or don't. Let's see. Let's do an order. Ah, uh, we can just drive to that guy. Wait, who has the order? That guy. Oh, it's too hard to drive to that guy. He's like way back there. I don't trust driving the car back there. Okay, five brass or seven cast iron steel. I want to try this one. Okay, so we have the cast steel, right? Cast steel we have over ten. So brass is this one here. Copper and aluminum equal brass. He wants five. Copper and aluminum. Asher Fee, thank you very much for becoming a Raptor Egg. Welcome aboard. And we need copper. Welcome. I only, I only have five copper right now. So we have five copper, so I need a bit more. I don't see any more. I can try to go find some on the ground or find those posts again. Yay, welcome aboard. Thank you very much for smash and join. Party bus in chat. We're having a party with all those new members. Welcome aboard. 
Oh good, double copper here, and these posts will do it. Just need a little bit more. Since we're here, we'll grab another one. All right, let's head back. Boom, boom, boom. Since our space is limited, store space is limited, we're going to have to continue to process stuff, no doubt about it. Okay, so copper plus aluminum equals brass. He wants five brass. So that should do the ticket. And then we'll have more in storage just in case, because there's bound to be more. I need the cast steel. Yeah, the music is so relaxing. It's true. Literally true. <laughs> hey, we leveled up again. Wow, we got 3,000 bucks. Nice. Brass and five unalloyed steel. Hmm. Wow, this one pays more though. Oh, good. That'll clear out our inventory. Oh, we only needed... Yeah, we're good. Hmm. I wish I could make a storage box for our house. I need more storage space. That'll do. Now we can go back to the other guy again. Jeez. You can run back and forth to each of these guys every other time then. I thought it was like one per day. Is it worth refining the oil? Uh, when they require... When they require kerosene, yes. Wow, I'm like, I'm, I'm simply out of space. Cast iron and five steel. Eight unalloyed. Mm. We have nine steel and one cast iron. I need to go get more. Yeah, the music's really good. There's a few songs that are a little too energetic, but some of these are nice if they're chill. Yep, we're good.
new level. So every... Okay, so it looks like there's three or four traders, or whatever, orders. Jeez, now we're at 5,000 bucks? Seven brass, six steel, five on alloy. Seven brass. I was only able to make a little bit, though. We have limited copper. Well, that would be nice, though. I gotta check our numbers again. Out of unalloyed steel? Yeah, we got quite a bit of that. Wait, do you want oil? I can't remember. So many orders are coming by. It'd be nice if there was just one guy. Like, running to three different areas is kind of cool, so the trip doesn't get repetitive, but also... Seven oil. Okay. We're mostly just trying to level up and clear out our inventory. Friday mood, awesome. Seven brass, eight oil, five aluminum. I don't think we have any of those things now. It might have the aluminum. Nope, doesn't look like it. Yeah, I get a moped. That would make things easier, wouldn't it? Okay, let me make sure this box is topped off with materials. Okay. All right. Let's spend some skill points. Damn, 10 skill points? Damn. Okay, we should probably upgrade for equipment slots now. We're going for inventory space. Looks like we've got all the storage space we can get at the moment. Oh, that's good. Look at the truck. The truck can hold a lot more now. Okay, I'm going to put all the good stuff in the truck and then all this stuff in there. Because this stuff will eventually need to be processed. So it's a good idea to just leave it there. looks like we can only all this stuff we can only make the purple stuff I think but maybe not I don't know I don't think we would be able to make gold though without gold ore and that would just be simply found on a boat okay so let's take the process stuff put it in the trunk on process materials are coming with me low level No. That's right, I'll put all the good stuff at the bottom. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Alright, so we'll fill it from the bottom up. Alright, that's nice. So we got a ton of rusted steel, so what we really need more of is more cast iron and copper. We don't have a lot of cast iron and copper. I guess we can work through the night, but let's uh, go to sleep. We still have room in here, though. I don't think alcohol can be combined with anything. I think that just has to be straight up sold.
Oh yeah, we can. Yeah, I don't know what the game will do if I put if I put it in here and if we go to bed. I don't know if it'll store. Let's take one and put it in there and just to see if we can use it as a storage box. Because that's a good way to work around. We can store another 25 stack in here. Imagine that we could take all the steel and put it in there times two. We're gonna experiment to see if it stays in there. If it does, then we we could store up to 50 rusted steel in here. Can we do double? Oh yeah, we can do a double. Okay, perfect. All right, let's go to bed and see what happens. So we can have daytime again. And it does stay. Perfect. That's a workaround. Finding solutions, chat. Very good. Yeah, we have so much rusted steel, it's r rusticulous. And then as for the alcohol, I don't see anything we can combine it with. So I guess we just sell it sell it off. Alcohol selling for 42, though. We should hold it till a higher price. I don't see anything else we can do with it. All right, well, we got a nice open inventory. And another skill point to spend. I think we're maxed out on space for now, so... Let's just do more hammer damage. Ham dam. We'll do some more ham dam. Alright, back to the boat. Back to the old grind. Literally. Hey, what's up uh, there, King Danny? Good to see everybody in chat. How y'all doing? One's in chat. The number one community out there. Welcome aboard again. Yeah, we don't even need money anymore. What we really need is just um, levels to max out our skills. Because if we can just if we can just swing once and like destroy something. With extra damage. We want to cause as much damage. as we can, and, uh, you know, as they say, the more, damage. the more merrier, I guess. Oh. Ah, we can hit this. Oh, finally, we can use the angle grinder. Nice. How does this work? Oh, I see. Well, that's nice. Just want to be as close to the wall as possible, though. Got it. Ooh, there's a lot of copper in here, man. What? Why is it aiming at the wall? That's slick, man. Very easy. That's some easy copper right there. Satisfying.
I wonder if we can break down, uh... I, th I don't know if glass is an item in the game. Ooh, but we got a new level, though. What can we spend that on? Yeah, we, we don't even need saw damage up. We just need, like, sh saw speed. 25% chance for double loot from cutted objects. Holy crap. Let's work our way down to that one. See, that means we'll, like, get double copper and stuff. That's OP as hell. A one in four chance for double? That's crazy. Oh, we can get aluminum from these. This is going to be a long job. I think what we want to start doing now is like figuring out what those orders want the most and do the more complicated orders and then find the material on the ship. Let's let's scout out a little bit. It's not not anymore is it about volume, it's more about specifics on what they want. Wow, we got an intermediate treasure chest now. Ho ho! Very nice. Another chest. Ooh, titanium. Oh, we don't need to. Don't need to pop that lock. Wait. Aha. Good thing we checked up here before breaking all those boxes, otherwise we wouldn't be able to get up here. Boom, baby. More gold. Very nice. Okay, let's go back to the, uh, the boat. Pog lad! That's a pog lad, ladies and gentlemen. Pog lad. Pog lad. Why am I glad for Poglad? Or maybe it's Poo Glad. Or Po Poglad? Po Poglad. So glad for Poglad. Oh, what is that? Copper sitting there? Bum 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 bum. Yeah, this game will let you have multiple employees. That's not in this prologue. Again, remember, we're playing the prologue, which differs slightly from the demo, but the, fir the final version of the game, uh, we haven't been able to see yet. This is kind of a taste of things to come, which is kind of cool. Bum, bum. We got plenty of space left.
Let's see what's down here. Yeah, let's see. Well, let's check what, what's in the box. Oh, to steal. Yeah, we're playing the pog log right now. Yeah, it looks like some of the copper may have clipped through the walls, yeah. There we go. That was tricky. stuff to do. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, there's a lot of that copper. Holy crap. Nice. That means we just need more aluminum. And the only way I see to get to more aluminum is by cutting these pipes. Okay. I don't know if we can get the whole pipe here. Yeah, it looks like you can't... Alright, so you can only, like, cut the middle section out. I don't see an option to cut any higher or lower. Okay, that makes sense. Alright, so we have... Five... Seven aluminum... seem worth it to do the lamps and stuff. A lot of this material we're just going to leave based on what, I guess, whatever whatever the... Uh... Hmm, halfway there. Well, it looks like we can stack some more blues in there. Okay, that's good. Aluminum, then. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Cool, so four aluminum 
I only get two from that, though, don't I? Oh. Aren't we supposed to get four aluminum from that? Hmm. Yeah, I might sprain my ankle jumping off the ship like that. True. I wonder if there's a back end of the ship anywhere. Water tanks are just blocking objects, okay. Hmm. Is it clipping? It might be, but I don't see any other way to get down below the ship. And I don't think I can cut the pipes up any higher. Hmm. Well, we'll get that perk that gives us uh, extra stuff for grinding. Hi there, Alex. Good to see you. Still have more inventory space. Bonjour, mon ami. Wait. Anything aluminum up here? Oh, there's another lock. It's probably just uh, alcohol again. Oh, cast iron. Oh, cool, we can take down the rusted table. Bum, 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 bum. Two steel, two aluminum, and one lead. Okay, those are valuable. I just don't have the space for those. Let's go home. We'll have to come back again. Alex, we're very excited to jo have you join us today in today's mandatory stream of Icarus. No excuse, by the way. getting you in no matter what. Mandatory happiness. Mandatory. Okay, more oil. More copper. Wow, that's a hell of a lot of copper. Let's make uh, a bunch of aluminum. Or brass, I mean. Uh-oh. What was that full of? 10 or 15? 10. That's 25. Aluminum, we have 15. And we need 500 to make brass. New member, welcome. A new member, welcome. E-Drag, thanks for becoming a member. Welcome aboard. Now you won't be able to cut the rest of the pipe unless it turns green. Okay, so are we out of copper? Uh, aluminum? 15? Okay. We can do 15 copper. Well, that'll become 15 brass now. Uh, YouTube never told me about this new thing. How long has this been here? About three days now. Two or three days. Yeah, there's a new feature where if you're a member... Every member, click that little or tap that little, like scroll down, go to where you type a message and then hit the super chat button and you can send a free highlighted message. And Alex has now been a member for a year. Aw, thank you, Alex. It's our one year anniversary. 
Let me take you out on a a friend a, a bro a bro date to uh, your favorite food place in Star Citizen. I'll drive. You're too slow. French drivers. Bum, bum. Let's see. Oh, I want to organize this, but what's the point? Okay, let's do... Um, let's make that uh, grass now. It's alive! good okay so now we have more brass I think we should just sell the alcohol well what's the price I need more inventory space is what I really need alcohol today is at 42 uh, petroleum is at 40 kerosene is 26 which is an average price we should hold on to that We could make petroleum into kerosene, though, to get the inventory free. Although some of those guys might want petroleum. Um, well, there seems to be a lot on the boat, though, so let's do... Oh, they want... Oh, no, oil. Oil makes kerosene. Damn. And we don't have any of that. Hmm... Seems like lead is just pure cell too. All right, let's go see what the uh, what the orders want. Bum, bum, bum. Did I plan on getting you a ring for our one year anniversary? I did. I want to get you and Booster in the ring to battle it out for my love and affection in Valheim. Mandatory streams coming up soon. Thank you, Alex, for the support. Appreciate that. All right, let's go with, uh, let's see, cast steel times seven, steel times six for one level plus 1,400. We don't have any oil, so that's a good idea there. Okay, so six steel. Let's gra we'll have to grab a two stack, that's fine. Seven cast steel, so five, six, seven, and then was it seven cast steel, six steel? Let's bring the stacks of two. You'd watch the Raptor combat stream. Yep. Yeah, we'll let everybody go through like a whole. Uh, you know, we'll do like a like a tournament map battle for my affection. Got Bradford in there, Booster, Alex. We leveled up again, so let's go for the lucky loot. Oh, wow. We can double all of our materials with these full upgrades. you got to be kidding me. That's crazy. Hammer speed. All right. What do you want, sir? Eight cast iron. Ooh. Eight aluminum. Oh, I think I used it all in making my brass. Oops. That's one we can do, though. Eight cast iron and four steel. We certainly have that. So what do we have for cast iron? Nothing. But we do have the four steel. Um, upgrade the furnace. Yeah, I, I don't see that as an option in the prologue at the moment. Like, let's see. Why do we look at the furnace? Yeah. I don't see any other options for upgrades. Just that one. Okay. So let's do... He wanted cast iron. That's just the standard tier one material. He wants eight. Okay, we got enough.
All right, a new level again. Let's go for that lucky loot. I'll have to get one more upgrade. Bum, bum, bum. Gladiator games in Valheim? Yes. Eight aluminum, eight cast iron. Six cast steel and eight oil. I might not have that. Let me check. At this point, I'm just trying to empty my inventory. But I would rather have the XP out of everything. Okay, so he wants eight oil. Six cast steel. Well, that's a problem. Cast steel is steel and cast iron at fifteen hundred degrees. Let's see how much we can fit in there. I feel like any, at any moment, this guitar is going to start playing classical gas. The kids haven't heard classical gas before. Oh boy. It's not a Fortnite dance. All this alcohol, man. I, I guess for probably later in the game, like when it's complete, that'll be useful. It, there'll be some reason to have that. I'm sure it'll be used for something. Great, now I gotta go find cast iron. I at least need... I don't know how much I had. Okay, we have four. I think I had two. So I at least need two more. Uh, did I break the clock? The clock started freaking out. Okay, so cast iron. Oh, we have nine. Good. Okay, well, we can at least make that much. I hope the game's smart enough not to use all my rusted steel. Let's see. Wrong combination. Yes. Oh, it's, uh, oh no, I need the blue. No, no. Boom, 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 boom. I was thinking it was the tier two stuff. Well, that's not going to be good. Well, we can make four. Oh, man. No. <laughs> All right, well, we need more steel then. That's right, we can complete the order any time. Nighttime, any time. We can get our degree and set ourselves free with National American University. Totally not a scam. Totally not a scam. At, at Educational Corporation, they care about their shareholders. All right, let's do gold scrap. Let's get organized, man. Wow, <laughs> look at all that brass. Oh, oh! Some of this is unalloyed. No, it looks the same. Okay, let's organize. So unalloyed steel, brass.
Okay, we'll put our gold stuff on the far right side. We have so little, so... Uh, five lead, five lead. We got one too many of that. All right, this is looking much more organized based on our materials. Oh, that's satisfying. Pog lad. All right, let's go to bed. We'll go work again. Junk. You're junk. Bum, bum, bum. Ooh, wait a minute. It's a purple item. It might actually be required. Oh, he'll buy junk for a dollar. I'll buy that for a dollar. Good, he just became a Raptor member. He just clicked and tapped join and became a member today. That's awesome. Okay, so the oil we have, we got to go get a bunch of steel now. That's what we're looking for. We're only going to find that on the boat. Beep, beep. We're hauling, baby. We're going fast. That's right. The Ford Raptor, yeah. Okay, well, those exhaust ports gave us steel on top. Let's go with these. Two steel, two, two aluminum, and one lead. Oh, I need that lucky loot perk. That's good. Keep looking for steel. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, there we go. Metal stand for three steel. Nice. Yeah, there was something hidden on top of the crates. Cast iron could be important. Right now I just want steel. Nothing there made of steel. Yeah, nothing up front. Oh, can we climb those? Oh, oh there's actually a post in the way. Okay. <laughs> bad, bad spot to put a ladder, man. Man, 
we've gone through here before. Oh. I thought this was a weldable box. Nice. Okay, let's see. Well, we certainly can fit more aluminum in there now. That's good. Very nice. Ooh, chat, you're almost up to 600 likes. Wow. There's no way you guys will get there, but that's pretty cool that you got close at least. Wow. Big day, chat. Big day. I need to grab that steel. There it is. Oh, all right, let's head back and do some uh, smelting. Can you make the car empty and come back? Yeah, I'm running out of inventory space at the base to, to drop stuff off. Basically, there's three inventories in the game. Our inventory, the truck inventory, and then this inventory here at the workshop, and everything's pretty much full. Alright, the guy's current order is eight cast... No, six cast steel. So I'll make a big delivery of that. We'll make more than what we need because it's probably likely to come up again. Hmm. We have four more cast iron on us. That brings it to 12. So we can do a delivery of 12. So cast steel plus cast iron at 1500 equals cast steel. guy needs it. Okay. Um. A new level. Cool. Now we got lucky loot on that one. We'll go for lucky loot on the welder too, so we're fully maxed. Bum, bum, bum. Wow, we've been playing this for three hours? I didn't even realize. Time's been going by fast. And chat, you're almost one more person to become a member, and we're at our halfway point for uh, ooh, ten brass and five cast steel. We're at our halfway point for a giveaway. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum. Exclamation point schedule. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, we got. Wait, what do we need? Uh, five cast steel. Okay, we've got that. And then... 10 brass. A. Another one unlocked. Do I need to put a command in exclamation point globe? Remind people that the Earth is round and there's different time zones? Wow. That one guy though, chat. All right, we're yet another new level. All right, cool. So now we've got all of the uh, end game perks unlocked, and we're going to get all the in-between ones now. Probably for the torch jam damage and the hammer. The saw's not that bad. The saw goes pretty quickly. Yeah, Tan, I think we need an exclamation point globe. Wait a minute. You're telling me, YouTuber, the time that you're going to play a game, it'll be a different time for me? Yeah. 
I want everyone on Earth to be living in the same time zone. All right, well, then it's time for everybody to click or tap join and become a member. That's what time it is. What was that guy's problem? What the? Oh, this guy. And let's see, cast iron or unalloyed steel? Oh, these are both kind of meh. I think we have the unalloyed steel. Cast iron, I don't think we have. Okay. Yeah, we don't I don't think we have any more cast iron. And on alloyed steel we have five. Oh actually we have six. But he only wants four. We have seven of that, five brass. Now well, we gotta go get some cast iron then. Go look around for that. You need to put some of those people hanging around to work for you. Those are people who haven't smashed the like button yet. They're just sitting around, hanging out, chilling, enjoying the weather. Alright, that should be good. Wait, five cast iron. And we have more than that. Good. What's the time for you, chat? Yeah, we could do that. Uh, wh where's everybody watching from? What's the current weather? What time is it for you? Barometric pressure, uh, weather, traffic, traffic, weather brought to you by Midas Touch. Uh, trust the Midas Touch. Yeah. Ba -ba -ba. Okay, uh, 10 on alloyed steel, or 7 cast iron and 4 aluminum. I think we have aluminum. If I didn't turn it all into brass. And then 7 cast iron, to which we have 1. These guys would rather pay me like $800 than to walk around the beach for 30 seconds to find all the cast iron. Wow, look at it. It's just all right here. A new box, too. Ooh, Poglad. Yeah. Hmm. Steel and oil. Guess we can grab some basic Earl. There we go. Uh, Amsterdam. Currently it's... Uh, clock is 20, 18 degrees Celsius with 68% humidity. Uh, what's the wind, sp wind speed and direction? I'm just curious. Actually, we have everything we need for that guy. Okay. Oh, wait. Seven cast iron? Oh, I'm sure one cast iron. Oops. <laughs> 24 kilometers an hour from the west? Okay. Excellent. Yeah, I just needed to know. Good. 
What's the, uh, I don't know, what, what do you say for like the, the tide? Is it a high tide, low tide? Is it original tide or coral scent? Are you, do you use fabric softener? Eight cast iron and five cast steel. Ten steel and four on alloyed steel. I don't have enough of that. No way. That would cost 14 steel. Yeah, what's the precipitation? And, and what's the percentage of the... Like, are we on course for standard precipitation? Like, is it... Like, of the standard precipitation for Amsterdam, is it like 100%, 120%, 90% average... And then, um, and then what's the current in millimeters, please? <laughs> uh, extra info, Amsterdam is about two meters below sea level. Uh, no, last time I was there it was dry, so obviously it's not below the sea. Mods, could we, could we ban that mod, please? Thanks. Mod, ban yourself. Okay, um, well... I don't like that order, so we'll wait for new ones tomorrow. So we have four skill points to spend. I don't want to spend any on the lockpick. It's like, you, you don't really need to. Uh, Mr. ICBB becoming a, ra a little raptor. Thank you very much for the support. No, Booster, I'm just kidding. You know we love you. Alright, we need more hammer damage. And let's get more torch damage. And then we'll start working on the saw. I'm not going to do anything with the... Uh, no need to work on the lockpick. It's too easy. And how much are lockpicks anyway? Additional lockpicks are... You get one for six bucks? Pfft. Oh, you can only have a few at a time? Okay. Well, so they basically cost nothing. Okay, let's organize our stuff again. Oh, we're completely full. Yep. I mean, we could go back to the boat and grab some more fill in the blank, but I think we could probably just go to the next boat. We've kind of seen that one already. There's more stuff to claim, but it's all kind of trash. What we really want to steal. Should we call him the big boy? Oh, this is a medium ship. They have bigger ships in the game. Ooh. Yeah, I think our goal will be... Our goal is going to have to be to uh, get enough skill points to unlock everything in the tools minus the lockpicks and to see the larger ship. Wait, what is this? Progress. What is oh, I see. At a certain level... Oh, we're level 28. Okay. So level 10 medium ships unlock. Okay. There should be more for us to use in the game too, by the way. Ca explosives and zip lines are not here. And same with the larger level ships. Uh, dads don't do decaf. Thank you very much for the 13 months as a raptor egg. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. Um, I like that feature, but it's confusing. Like all things YouTube. Here's how they announced, by the way, to all of YouTube, here's how they announced this feature. Well, first they didn't. People just randomly found it in our chat. Then I asked my YouTube rep, and then randomly on Twitter, the guy who runs the YouTube things, like, tweeted it out like three hours later. Yeah, great great communication, dude. It's like going, it's like going to your bank and being like, oh, yeah, we don't use euros anymore. We actually use uh, penne pasta. And it's like, what? What do you mean? So yeah, you go to a store and you try to pay with money and they're like, sir, get out of here if you're not gonna pay with real money and you like you leave the store confused as hell and you're like, what? And you go to your bank and it's like, oh no, sir, we, we only dr deal with dried pasta noodles now. And then your government tweets out like, Lamau, hey, J hey, we're just switching to penne now, ayo, full send, lol. Yeah, awesome, uh, awesome uh, leadership there. That's that's awesome, dude. Good communication, man. Communicate after the fact and only in places where 
only certain people know who to follow to get the information. That's Call that transparency, dude. Yeah, that's like saying, hey, yeah, uh, I'm going to be transparent by throwing this thing of uh, Reynolds wrap into this uh, giant haystack. Lamau transparency. Ah, <sighs> YouTube. Yeah, let's get organized. I don't know what we're going to do with all this alcohol. What's the price on this today? Multi-billion dollar company. I should give them a break. Yeah, they, they don't really have uh, the budget to, like, hire somebody to communicate with everybody else. It'd really be just a lot to handle. Yeah, that's really unfair of me. Should we go? I think we're going to order the big ship. Let's get the big boy ship in here, chat. Let's go for the biggest ship in the game. Let's dismiss the old one and order the big... Oh, boy, that's a that's a big ship, baby. SGS shipping line. Uh, this is the the flame from Denmark. Date 2007. Damn, the Danish didn't really take good care of this boat if it didn't even last 20 years. <laughs> okay. Uh, 35,000 kilograms. Or kilos. Uh, rusted steel large. Steel average. Oh, that's good. Stainless steel none. Titanium none. Lead, cast iron, oil, petroleum. Oh, it has petroleum on board. Average amount of uh, aluminum. Okay, let's book that one for tomorrow then. And that's 400 a day. We can definitely afford that. It's no problem. Wow. All right, the big, the biggest ship in the game so far is coming in. Coming in hot. I guess we wouldn't. We probably wouldn't have as many inventory uh, items in our inventory if we had more things to spend them on. So, like for example, here, the barracks to hire employees to help us, and an upgraded workshop to make more materials. Like obviously, there's going to be more materials in the game than what we've seen, and we know that. Oops, by going to the, uh, yeah, right here on the right side. That's got to be like some of that stuff's got to be like titanium beams. Maybe uh, carbon fiber. Stuff like that. Why not sell your inventory at the market? Now we get more money holding on for the orders. And we also, if we uh, sell them at the order places, we also level up too. We still need to get, uh, we still need to level up two more times. Let's go to bed and see the biggest ship. The, bi the big one. Wow. It, wow. They're even promoting those garbage YouTube shorts even at the movie theater now. YouTube shorts... You, YouTube is trying to kill TikTok so bad that they're actually doing like pre-roll ads at a movie theater. Who is going to do that? You're at a movie. You're going to see the new, I don't know, Batman movie. And then it's like, Lamau, YouTube Shorts, recycle the same cat video you've seen before, but that same nine-second video can now be re-uploaded again. That's right. Butcher the same cow, but in a different way. That's original. Lamau, Charlie bit my finger. Lamau, Ayo, hey, full send. La, 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 la. It's hip for the kids. They love it. Re-upload all the same videos you've seen over and over and over again, just in a different format. Which is totally true. How many of you bought movies on VHS and then had to go buy them again on DVD? You and the family upgraded to a DVD player. Daughter wants to watch Cinderella. But can only watch it on the DVD. So you gotta buy that all over again. Same movie. You gotta buy it again. Oh, it looks like there's stuff randomly sitting around. Nice. This is a big ass boat, boy. Woo! That's that's a big old boat. Oh, it looks like we can get aluminum from this, okay. Alright, let's get that steel going. Yep, then they went to Blu-ray. And Nintendo Nintendo and PlayStation, everybody else does the same too, where you 
you've repurchased Mario again for the third or fourth time. Like the classic Mario, now you can buy it on the... First it was like on the Wii, and then the Wii U, now on the Switch. Lucky loot. Nice. Oh, it tells you when you get lucky loot. Nice. Dude, this ship is too much. I want to go find the uh, hidden container. I think I see it. Was that it up there? Alright. If anything, our remaining goals are going to be to find the last master safe, which is hidden somewhere. And then also, it's probably up there. And also unlock all of our skills, except for the lockpick one, because that's not not even important. Oh, we can bash through the walls. Nice. Here's Johnny. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, I'm assuming it's on the top of the ship, yeah. Let's, uh... See if we can go up. Yeah, it's crazy. YouTube promotes those shorts so often. Yeah, and then I do them, and it's like, well, one, I don't know, I don't know really how to make a short video on anything, and two, nobody, nobody really cares except for YouTube. Okay, there's a way to get up there. This door. Nope. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, the YouTube short thing can only really be done on your phone, so it's like YouTube's telling people to take their phone out and look, record Lamaus at the theater. I'm like, what are you doing, YouTube? Stop. Yeah, that door is blocked. Gotta be up there. No, actually, there's no way for us to get up there. Hmm. There we go. Ah, there's the master safe. Well, that was easier to find than I thought. Unless there's more than one. Is there? Okay, let's see what's in the master safe. Probably gold and silver again for cash. Hmm. Hey, hey. Yeah, this is gold and silver again. And I don't even have room for it, so we can just sell that outright at the moment. Or steel and aluminum. I'm full. Wow, look at this stuff from... Wow. That's a lot of damage. Can I drop in the water? Oh, it just teleports you on the land. Okay. Well, that's a... That's a way to go. A little fast travel exploit. Alright, let's go back and see. But I guess with employees, that would be a lot faster. It would definitely be a lot faster with employees. Okay, so to get two more levels, we just need two more contracts, really. Actually, I could break some more stuff. If I break a little bit more stuff, we'll get another level. Is there a way to tell how much XP you need? 
Oh yeah, okay. Just need 15. Seven brass and four aluminum. That I can do. Seven brass and four aluminum. Okay, so we need some more brass. Oh, that actually takes aluminum. Okay, so we gotta go back on the ship and find aluminum. Because brass takes aluminum and copper. Alright, back to the lab. the pipes, right? Oh yeah, maybe the party bus will arrive and buy the alcohol, yeah. Oh, you passed out. You will go back to your bed. Be careful next time. Wow, we exploded to death. <laughs> Oh, cool. There's actually explosions in the game. Oh, I leveled up, though. Yay. You have two skill points to spend. Wow, that is, uh... No, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, no kidding. So, wait, how do I... Okay, so now I'm wondering, how do I turn off the gas? Do we have to work a valve? Or just avoid those... materials? Oh, wow. Oh, wait. Oh, well. We lost a day of work, but, uh... It blew up the whole piping all the way down the line. Nice. Is there a way to turn that off? The red pipe goes to... Or are you just not supposed to mine from it? How would I deactivate that? Maybe from within the ship somewhere? That's cool though. Yeah, I blew myself into the next level, y'all. I don't know how we would control that though. That's a battery. Is that... Wait, I can't get... What? Wait, what? I can't crawl under the pipe. And I can't jump up on the box to get out of here. Wait, it shows red. Oh, you can you can barely even tell. Like it, it gives you a, a thin red outline, but so now now I gotta blow myself up again. All right, they should probably raise those pipes up a little bit so players can crawl under there. I wonder how we disable that. Wait, wait, wait. Is there an unstuck option?
camera tools skill tree Blade durability is going to break. I don't know if we can get through this thing. We got to blow up again, though. There we go. Lucky loot, yeah. Wait a minute. It's still day nine. It doesn't. Fa it just teleports you back to your bed. Okay. Wait. Do you? Oh, you need the mop in order to. Uh, well. I can't upgrade the tool. Yeah, we, we have all the tools we can get at the moment. But let's get the blades for the angle grinder. Oh, what? what? Oh, okay. I can, apparently can have 131% durability. Okay. I don't think I can switch back to the regular saw, though. Once, once you get the tier 2 stuff, you can't... I don't think there's a way to switch back to, like, the tier 1 item. Bum, 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 bum. Go back and do airports and that? What? What do you mean? Bum, 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 bum. We have... Oh, I need more steel. Wait. Did I level up again? Okay, two more. Uh, one more we can level up. Which just requires us to do this order, so I just need more steel. Yeah, I don't know how to stop those things from exploding. I haven't seen a, a valve or anything we can control yet. Maybe in the lower levels of the ship. I don't see a way to get down, though. Some of these doors are blocked. Wait, do we need aluminum? Oh yeah, we need aluminum, not steel. Never mind. Alright, well, we'll just do these. Wait, let's go to the top. Bum, 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 bum. There we go. Yeah, I think you have to cut the gas line somewhere, but... Must be a way to get into the bottom of the ship somehow. So this ship is totally full of loot. There's boxes everywhere, materials everywhere. The Danish just abandoned this ship, they don't even care. Okay, we can get 10. Alright, let's head back home. This is the point of the game where, yeah, we would, we would definitely need um, some workers to help us out. Especially for, like, more inventory space. Alright, let's get out of here. That's a big ass ship, man. That's a big old ship. Can we buy a bigger truck? Well, we can upgrade the um, the trunk space a little bit. But this game's not complete, so we're missing a lot of like tier two features and things that obviously they'll add later. Okay, so we're making brass. Mm. Let's sell our alcohol. I need the inventory space. Oh, good. It sells for 38 today. Giving us almost 500 bucks. Nice. Okay, aluminum. We need seven, seven brass. So, how much brass do we have? We have five, so we'll make two.
Oops. Okay. And that needs to be at 500. unlocked all of our skills except for the lockpick. Perfect. All right, so everything's maxed on our current tools. So there's even there's tier 3 tools which we haven't seen yet for the torch, the saw and the hammer, and then there's another tool the mop. And then there's also explosives in a zip line that can also be upgraded. The lockpick, the only upgrade would just allow us to carry more, but it's like, so long as you don't break them, you're good. Plus, we can hire employees. All right, let's see the boat tomorrow, then. I want to go take pictures of the boat. Other than that, we can sell everything in the marketplace and see how much we get. But the contracts just seem like a better idea, though. It The contracts do kind of... Uh, they kind of create a bottleneck because you can't sell all your stuff at the same time. Yeah, Icarus, yep. Yeah, we'll do uh, Icarus as soon as we can. They posted the time for it, but it could be earlier. So just get ready for that to possibly change. Okay, so the truck is fully loaded with good booty. And same with the... Yeah, we're like basically fully loaded. All right, let's sleep and let's go take a look at this boat one more time. I'm going to take a look at the daytime. Yeah, one guy with a 34,000 uh, cargo ship. Yeah, that's, that is job security. Amen, brother. Loaded for bear? Don't you don't you talk about that? Oh God, there's polar bears. And not to mention, we have to prepare to go into the Arctic tonight. So it means that basically, we have to. Uh, I don't want to talk about. It. New member, welcome. A new member, Rick Watcher. Thank you very much for becoming a member. Welcome. Yeah, we're almost up to 1 million subscribers. Yeah, Alright, let's see. So that's how big the boat is in comparison to the car. That's a that's a big old boat. Oh, there we go. We'll bring the boat a little the car a little closer. Don't forget to get the relanx out of the cargo hold. Wow. Teardown's a fantastic game. I love that game. Trying to get the perfect screenshot. Maybe get up there. Yeah, there might be. Yeah, there's probably a way to get down inside the boat to shut off the the gas valves. Maybe there's not. Maybe there's some other piece of equipment that we need to do it safely. Or maybe we're just supposed to avoid it altogether. Though it seems a little, uh, a little too important to avoid. Okay, I'm gonna gotta angle the ship a little bit differently. 
or the, the car. I think we should make it parallel. There we go. That might be it. Okay, that might be a winner. That's it, baby. That's the winner. All right, guys. Well, we're pretty much out of things to do. We would be able to upgrade the market in the future version. We should be able to upgrade the workshop in the future version. We should be able to buy more tools in the future version, which means we could spend more XP on upgrades in the future version. Uh, there's mop, explosives, and zip line to come, as well as workers, and then more boats, too. And then also, of course, new items and stuff and alloys to sell at the uh, orders and at the marketplace, which is pretty cool, too. I assume when we upgrade the marketplace, then the... And that's when they want the more advanced materials. But, like, for the most part, we could just make kerosene, uh, brass, uh, cast steel, and whatever the other stuff was. So, all right. I'll see you guys for our next stream coming up soon. Thanks for watching this game. Uh, of course, Ship Graveyard Simulator will be available soon on Steam. So make sure you uh, check it out and add it to your wish list if you're interested. I'll be back a little bit later for some more streams. More survival. So thanks for dropping in. And I'll see you guys very soon. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Take care now. I'm going to tab out and see if any of our friends are live. Maybe Brad Labs is live. Let's see. Who might be available now? Oh, Thurston is live. Oh, wait. Brad Lab is live too. Let's see. He's playing Company Heroes and Thurston is playing. Uh, oh, Thurston's building his own game. All right. I'll let you guys choose your own adventure. Thurston's link is first if you want to see somebody making a game. And Bradford's link is second if you want to see somebody... Uh, playing Company of Heroes again. All right. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for dropping in. Goodbye, everyone. See you shortly for Icarus in tonight's PM stream. Goodbye, everyone. Merci beaucoup.